Okay, after a big um, mess up this morning, I thought I was videoing me putting all the uh, light blue on, but no, memory card went full after one man, one minute, six seconds, one man. Anyway, so on with the next one. Light green. She is Mr. Color 122 RLM82. Again, like Tamiya paints, these uh, guns paints, they go really, really nicely. Am I going to have enough paint? Sometimes you think you've missed a bit, but it's actually where it's drying. Oh, looks pretty good to me. Okay, we're back and masked up for the dark green that goes on the starboard wing and a bit of the the uh, tail plane units so check my flow seems okay might be a bit noisy is my neighbour coming home on his bike I had to mask off this little blister in the wing here because for some reason that shown as being in the light green and this little tiny bit of the fuselage here so right see so how we get on
so that's it all right guys i just will give you a very quick update here because i'm not going to actually video this i'll just do this one uh now decking the salamander so uh, i think i showed you painting up last night came out very well quite pleased with that so i don't see much point in you sitting there or you sitting there watching me do this so i shall just put this one on and then leave it until I've completed the decaline and it was not really got to assemble the undercarriage Matt goes it put panel liner on so hopefully I'll finish it tomorrow hopefully it'll be a bit cooler tomorrow because again here in the UK it's well high 20s if not up into 30s and it's just kind of a bit clean oh the sun's out again now the sun had just gone in and they are saying we could have some storms later but anyway guys decaline so far crosses on the wing arrows on each side of the nose there's a bit of x28 so i hope they're going to flatten out a name and a crest and there's got to be a crest on the other side i'm going to press on with this and uh, catch you later okay guys as you can see i've finished the uh salamander off uh, forgive me i had to do a lot of fiddly close-up work and we had a few problems I had to take the dog to the vet because he's not been well and dropping back at my ex-wife's because she's closer to the vet so um, anyway that's my problem as you can see as i said it's finished off quite pleased with how it came out um, as i say the engine pod on the back can be uh, displayed in several ways if i just uh, move over there excuse me i've got this just on the kitchen table at the moment and uh, handheld so it's probably going to be a little bit shaky the video never used the video for this that's the engine the jet part obviously on the uh, maintenance stand and then you get another set of uh, engine nacelles which you can pull off that engine and then put those on and then put the engine on that to display it but as i've just swapped them over again i've just cracked the joint again on one of the doors so it's gluing so but you get a general idea um on the engine oh my voice has gone funny on the engine i've don't know how well this will focus uh, it's too close isn't it come on focus up all the little bits of pipe work on there is I've added with some copper wire it was a bit springy but afterwards of course I thought it should have annealed it you know heated it up let it cool it would have been a lot softer but I know for next time anyway so excuse the camera shake because I'm a bit zoomed in anyway guys as I say really enjoyed the build I'll just try and turn the model around so obviously it's the same on the other side and I'm just going to have a massive wobble now because I'm taking my hand out of the uh, thing just to bring you down in a little bit to have a better look. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. It's now just taken me about just over a week. If I'd really pulled my finger out I could have finished it in under a week I think. But I'd just end, as I say, I tend to sit and think and procrastinate about things too much. Anyway guys, stay safe, happy modelling. Thanks for watching.